is fighting in the Gorman genes thoroughly. Yeah, the Gorman name is massive. The Uncle Bartley Gorman, Barnacle Champion of Great Britain. He's known as the King of the Gypsies, the very first. And Tyson Fury is my relation, and to be mentioned in the same breath is an amazing thing. Well, you just spot something in a kid that you like to look of, and Ricky was one of them. The sky's the limit for him. The heavyweight champion of the world. That is what you're in here for. You know, I want to create my legacy, yeah. There's no stop. Like Bartley said, no, if you rip me out, out. There's no stop. Good morning. Good morning. I want to show you how an athlete runs on beer. Very well. Fighting has been around me since being that size. Boxed as an amateur as a little kid. I boxed at 13, boxed at 14, I turned 20. And I stopped. I started putting a lot of weight on. When I first met Rick, big character, straight away from the off. He was quite heavy, he was like 25 stone. I fell out of love with boxing. I come away from it, I thought, what am I doing this for? You know, dieting myself. My granddad said, please, son, what are you wasting yourself for? I lost him not long ago. Not long after losing him, I came in here. I've seen top talent come in the gym over the years. They'll come for a few months, then they'll go, start getting hard. But Rick, the harder it got, the more pressure he got put on him. That was it. Life is what you make it. Thank God we're here to see it, so it's a good move. It's a good day. Where are you? Our unrelated to Tyson is my great grandfather, old Francis Gorman, and Tyson Fury's uh, grandmother, my brother and sister. He uh, congratulated on the debut win. <laughs> Text me. Well done. Congratulations. So, you know, unbelievable. What makes me different from the other heavyweights? Well, personality being one. And if it comes down to the final gear and the final crunch, I, I will take it. I want it all. His hand speed, he's so fast, his feet are fast. For such a big lad, he's 1-0 now. I want him to have an earlier title by the end of this year. We've got high hopes for Rick, we really have. So we're down here today, we're at my cousin's place, uh, over in Wales, in Hollywell. Hello, you alright here? In the travelling community, you know, everyone pretty much knows everybody. Close-knit. Away from concrete jungle, you know, everything's natural. Everything's as it should be here. Gypsy people, the genuine people, you know, they are genuine people. I choose to live a very old traditional lifestyle. You don't need a palace, you don't need a Rolls Royce, you don't need nothing like that. I don't think life's got much more to give. You've got nature, you've got a bit of food, you've got good surroundings. The simple things in life are what changes people's way of thinking. So here we have my cousin, Jordan Gorman, and he's gonna, he's gonna rattle your song. <laughs> Young traveling lads doing well in boxing. I believe it's embedded that somewhere down the line in their history, they've heard, oh, your granddad used to fight, you know, or your uncle used to fight, you know. So my uncle Bartley Gorman, bare uncle champion of Great Britain. People do call him the king of the gypsies, yes. Two lads would fight until one got knocked out or one give best. He wasn't beaten all his reign, 25 years, 25 years. A man who would get a helicopter and kick thousands of leaflets out of it saying he'd fight any gypsy man landing down to camps and asking who was the best man was, pointing fingers, bring them out. That's, that's what this man was. The celebrity of his day. So that picture there, the day Bare Knuckle Boxing King, Bartley Gorman took on Muhammad Ali. Bartley said to him, you're king of the ring, but I'm lord of the lanes. And Ali looked at him and was like, man, this man guy must be crazy. Yes, Give it up. Beautiful, how lovely. How beautiful. The Olden's paved the way. Undoubtedly proud. I really am. And here I am just trying to give a little bit back. When jingle jangle All along the banks Of the Royal Canal There you are boys. I don't manage many fighters at all, but Ricky was one when I spotted him. I thought, you know what, there's something there, definitely. Yeah, he's a cheeky chappy, and he loves a uh, joke, likes a laugh, but li likes a fight, and that's the most important thing. <laughs> Expecting a very big year from myself this year. Like a, a midnight train to Georgia, it's starting off very good. It's rolling, full steam out. It's exciting for him because I'm 40 now, I'm retired. I had a 15 year pro career. And I would give anything to be sitting in this position now after one fight, ready to go and do it all again. 
I want to be known and go down as the history books as the British champion. And I ain't just planning on stopping there. Wait, bide your time, learn your trade, get your experience up. He's willing to learn, he's keen, he's, there's no ego on him. What better man would you want behind you pushing you? And my trust is fully in him. So if he says, yeah, this is going on, this is happening, I'll say, okay, Paul, we're doing it. And hopefully he makes it and becomes a champion and makes himself and his family proud. Yeah, the golden name is massive. To me, does it add a pressure? No. Does it give an edge? Now you're talking. The world is oyster, it really is. But I know he can win a British title, 100%. Why go for a bronze medal when gold's there? I'm in it to win it. Heavyweight world champion.